as a threat? And how can we talk about it? I think, from my perspective, the primary reason why it's dangerous, I don't think it's so much the concentration of power, rather the fact that policy has been lagging behind, human rights haven't been taken seriously enough, um, there has just been a very um, um, scattered kind of policy environment around ethical frameworks that are generally produced by the companies themselves, which I think can be very helpful in asking potentially the right questions, but does not give you enough guidance when there are tricky situations. So I think the lack of human rights guidance as these platforms have become the, this large uh, means that now we're going to have to deal with them because, you know, frankly speaking, um, breaking up any of these big companies or making their business models immediately, um, you know, illegal or impossible to continue would probably be another financial crisis. So I think the difficulty now is that now we have these actors that we just inevitably have to deal with um, for, for good and bad. And, uh, and then the human rights frameworks just have to be able to kind of penetrate the current activities. And policymakers, frankly, have to step up their game in terms of knowledge. Um, but I think the, the size that they, you know, the size in itself, I think it's only a problem uh, because it means that they can't be a small company you can hurt and a few workers are unemployed, then it doesn't necessarily hurt the economy that much if you change the legislation. But these, you know, behemoths, um, you just have to work with them somehow.